what was your path into the gaming industry? I think we all have an interesting path to get into the game industry. Uh, all of us tend to find a unique way there, but mine actually came through science. Uh, so I have my degree in neuroscience. I studied how the brain thinks about sound and, and how we see things and how our brains process that. And a good friend of mine uh, who knew I was always a gamer kind of came and talked to me about being a user researcher in games and having the job of kind of studying and trying to find the fun with research. Uh, I didn't know a job like this even existed. I didn't know that you could be a scientist and work in video games, but you totally can. Uh, it's a fantastic job, but yeah, I kind of came out of grad school, um, came and interviewed at Xbox. I was so excited uh, to find out that I could blend these two worlds. I could blend this gamer self that I have and I could blend the scientist researcher self that I am and put those together. Uh, so yeah, I, I kind of came straight out of school, straight into Xbox. What was your experience with video games growing up? Growing up, so uh, I was the Sega Genesis girl. My next door neighbor had the Nintendo, so we used to swap houses back and forth so we could play as many games as possible. Uh, I was big into fighting games as a kid. Uh, I used to be the kind of the group where we would come over to our house and I'll play together. So I've been playing games my whole life. Uh, there was definitely a time when I was in high school where I, I kind of drifted away a little bit. I kind of thought that maybe games weren't for me because I was a girl. Uh, only to then rediscover them in college and come back and realize just how much I connected with them and how much I do identify as a gamer. Uh, so games have kind of been a part of my life forever and I hope that they continue to. What would be one piece of advice you would give to your 12-year-old self? Uh, two things. One, you can do your hair any way you want. Uh, you can wear almost anything you want. Uh, chucks will always be fashionable, and so you can always keep them. And then, even if it doesn't seem like it's the right way to do something, if it's your way to do something, it's worth it. And to take the time to kind of find your own path and if a job doesn't exist out there or if there's something you really want to do, figure out how to make it happen. Worry about the details later. Just kind of start chasing it and eventually you'll wind up where you want to be. Anything else you want to add um, that you'd like to say, maybe advice to girls who uh, may be interested or families or friends? So the biggest thing that we hear a lot is, you know, I, I love video gaming, but, but I'm not sure if I really want to do code necessarily. And code's kind of seen as this like stopgap for getting into gaming. But there are tons of different careers in gaming. Uh, we sometimes do this exercise where we ask girls or kids to think through what's a job that you want to do. I bet there's a role like that in gaming. And we've had some really interesting ones. We had people who talked about like hairstylist or, you know, musician. All of those roles exist within the world of gaming. Maybe it's in finance, maybe it's in production, maybe it's in art, uh, or a researcher, scientist like me. There's all these different roles that you can still kind of connect with this creative space that is gaming. And it combines your love for technology, your love for creative storytelling, and your love for just having fun all into one job and one place. So you don't have to kind of necessarily do just coding. And even if you do are really into code, I use code pretty regularly uh, to solve problems or to build an amazing space that people interact with and play with. It's not necessarily the same kind of coding that you might have seen on TV or sitting down with just a computer. It's coding as a way to solve problems. And you can do that in a variety of different spaces and a variety of different roles. So as a member of Xbox Research, our job is to basically sit down and play the games and interact with designers and understand how they want this game to feel. What, what do they want to accomplish with this game? What's their vision for how a player is going to play it? And our job is to come in and really talk to all those players and see if they're hitting their mark. Are they doing the thing that they want to do? And so at the core of my job, it's all about understanding perception and understanding how people think and feel. How do people have fun? Uh, and to do that, we tend to hire people like me who have backgrounds in psychology or neuroscience or human-centered design, which basically is a fancy way of saying we understand how to talk and measure how people 
think, and feel. And we use that in order to craft better experiences. Our job is all about maximizing fun. So maybe you're a person who really is driven by competition. And so we want to make sure we're tuning a game to be just competitive enough. Or maybe you're someone who likes a more social experience and wants to connect with their friends. We want to make sure we have the features to support that. Maybe you're someone who uh, comes with a disability or comes with a different way of interacting with a game. We want to make sure that we support those experiences as well. Nothing should be blocking you from having fun. And as a researcher, that's my core job, is to sit down and really double check that all of our bases are covered uh, and that the game is running as intended. So uh, I have been volunteering with Girls Makes Games for about three years now. Uh, my first introduction to it was really close to my first year at Xbox, and I was so delighted to find out that this program even existed. Uh, I have a daughter myself, she's seven, uh, who I know is going to be excited to join a camp like this. And it's just fascinating to see these girls come in with, you know, really starting to get into gaming, starting to understand what they can do, and then the confidence just shoots up. They have three weeks of interacting in this kind of really cool environment with other uh, women in gaming and other people who come in to talk and give these lectures with them. And that's the confidence and the exposure. You just can't beat that anywhere. Uh, if, if the one thing that they take away is that they belong in gaming and they have the chance to you know, be like us and become women in gaming when they want, that's a total win.